Welcome back everyone to our channel. Today's protagonist needs no introduction. After all, Tesla is indeed one of the biggest corporations in today's world. Tesla models have proved to be the single-handed pioneers in the electronic vehicular market. With the world facing a multitude of environmental problems, Tesla has made sure that the best eco-friendly, attractive and effective options are available for fancy gearheads in the market. Presently having a marketing capital of $380 billion, Tesla is definitely growing with the passing days. But with all the hype created and the increasing demand, it must have a stronghold somewhere, right? Tesla produces 350,000 cars in the present, which is way lower than the public demand. However, as we know very well, the company has high ambitions. They are aiming at a production of more than 20 million cars a year, and boy, that does require quite a big chunk of advanced technology and even bigger factories. Tesla has already ramped up the construction of such highly proficient factories throughout the world, but the star attraction amongst all these is the well-known futuristic factory they have set up at Sparks, Nevada. Better known as the Giga Factory, this is the first huge facility that Tesla had built for itself and will serve as a model for all upcoming twins across the world. Only 30% of this facility is fully built, but from what we know, this could be the largest building by footprint on its completion. What we are going to do today is take a look at what goes on at the place where the magic happens. The Giga Factory currently has 7,000 employees working around the clock. According to the vice president of Tesla, Chris Lister, they had to build as many battery cells as possible Possible to make the transition of moving to sustainable energy from fossil fuels smoother and faster. The place cranks out approximately two battery packs every minute, with a current production rate of 5,000. According to managing director with Cairn Energy Research Advisors Sam Jeff's analysis, the cost of manufacturing a battery cell at Tesla is around $116 per kilowatt hour, which is far better than the rest of the industry at $146 per kilowatt hour. Tesla's project Roadrunner aims to reduce reduce the costs to a mere $100 per kilowatt hour within a year. What makes Tesla the leading company in their game is their ability and execution to actually reduce the battery packs and cell costs, which has given them the cost advantage as well as the reputation in the market. That being said, we would be lying if we said there haven't been growing pains in the Gigafactory. In its initial day, Tesla partnered with Panasonic to produce its proprietary batteries thanks to Panasonic's claim of increasing energy density within Tesla's batteries, which allegedly turned turned out to be fraudulent claims. Due to this kerfuffle, Tesla has now teamed with IG Chem and Cattle for the supply of cells in China. But if you thought this technological advancement is kept in pace only by the human employees, allow the team of super smart robots that work alongside them to welcome you. These robots have the ability to work for a whopping 19 hours and indulge in activities like moving materials, lifting weights and transportation faster than any human could possibly do. The robots have a predictable pathway that is maintained through a digital map and mainly carry materials from the inventory to the line side, eliminating human intervention, effort and any possible human mistakes that may occur. Even the placement of Gigafactory 1 has a multitude of reasons behind it. It is aligned on the true north, which is done so that the equipment can be mapped by the GPS and the solar panels on the roof can be accurately aligned. The design of the Gigafactory is also done in a way to make it completely self-reliant which is intended through a combination of on-site solar, wind and geothermal sources. Although Tesla has faced scrutiny for wastefulness inside the compound, its master plan includes many energy-saving features. For example, the excess heat generated by the equipment will not only be able to run equipment efficiently, but also keep the temperature inside the factory under control. The roof will eventually accommodate 200,000 solar panels, which will expand over 1.8 million square feet. The Gigafactory also has a water cooling system that repels extremely low temperatures and a water tank that contains nearly 10 gallons of water, which is also used for air conditioning. If you summarize all these designs and techniques with the fact that the factory lies in the middle of a desert, you will realize the beauty of the plan. It gets the maximum sunlight in the day and the water cools off thanks to the cold temperatures at night and at the end of the day, efficiency of work is not compromised in any way. All this is being done with the main motto of the company in mind, to maintain zero carbon footprint and also to produce products with zero carbon footprint. When the construction for the factory began in 2015, it honestly seemed to a lot of us that Tesla was risking everything to achieve the impossible. 
The Gigafactory was supposed to churn out the batteries necessary for the Tesla Model 3, which had over thousands of orders even when the delivery date was more than a year away. But let's face it, the idea was interesting and showed promise, and that's what several states thought, offering tax incentives and cash grants for the foundation of Gigafactory at their place for future business. After several negotiations, Tesla chose the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center, mainly due to reasons such as speed, rail access, low humidity, direct saleability, and an incentive package offered by the state of Nevada. Of course, the factory had its own share of controversies as well. In August 2018, a former member of the security team filed a whistleblower complaint with the Securities and Exchange Commission alleging criminal activities including smuggling of cocaine and crystal meth in connection with the Mexican drug cartel and theft of $37 million worth of raw materials. This was also followed by an investigation led by the FBI, which was shut down without any explanation. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk has expressed his desire of building over a 100 gigafactories around the world, which is, however, not a number close to reality. The up-and-coming gigafactories include the Gigafactory 2 at New York, which came up after Tesla acquired a solar city that stood on the site. The New York facility was originally meant for producing the company's flagship residential energy products, such as the solar roof. Tesla's $2 billion Gigafactory 3 at Shanghai is shaped to produce Tesla's Model 3 using a complete vehicle production line taking inspiration from the Nevada facility. Tesla has chosen Berlin to function as the site for Gigafactory 4, and although the plans about this facility haven't been detailed out yet, Musk has stated that the factory will not be used to produce car models like the rest of the Gigafactories. However, people of Berlin aren't really welcoming to the corporation's plans and have raised a total of 406 objections about Gigafactory Berlin, with top reasons pointing at Tesla's water use, tree clearing activities, chances of increase in housing costs after the factory is built, and the use of piles in its construction. Finally, Gigafactory 5 is all set to be constructed at Austin, Texas, over a massive area of 5 million square feet, complete with all the technological and cyber advancements. Needless to say, Tesla's market is growing with each day. These Gigafactories and plenty more to come will serve as the backbone for the sustainable vehicular market and, more importantly, will be the make-or-break factors in Tesla's future for years to come. Do let us know what you think about these Gigafactories in the comments section down below. Also, if you loved the video, do not forget to click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. We will be back with another interesting video soon.